drop this heel bone. Now I'm gonna have her keep her legs where they are, but pull her right knee to her chest. Okay, now on this one, it's a bit harder, so I'd probably encourage you to put her hands down. Okay, now on the single leg, we wanna maintain that kneecap, reaching up toward the sky and the other leg slightly open. Okay, she'll find her glute first, so she's gonna grab her butt cheek and then pick her pelvis up and back down. And she does an awesome job of maintaining a level pelvis. And up and down. I'm gonna ask that she gives me a little more rib cage communication and then she goes two and back down. Left glute to lateral glute and up and down. Now we're gonna have her switch legs. So her right foot goes down and it's slightly turned out like a one degree turnout. Yep, now left knee stays here. Find your glute, lift your pelvis, hold. Okay, now on this side, she needs to shorten up this right side. Okay, and then she's gonna pull this left hip toward her, yep, pelvis, and then she drops back down. Same thing as before. Okay, okay pull, lift, and back down. Breath pattern, inhale up, exhale down. Ribs and glute, then pick it up, and down, last one, butt and belly, and up, and back down. Okay, now she's gonna straighten those legs out long and flip over onto her belly for our extension work. Okay, so breaststroke prep one. Okay, if Nat has her forearms down, like a field goal post or a little more like a W. Okay, she's gonna focus on a long head and neck. Okay, she's not smashing her nose. Okay, her feet are apart. They could come together with a turned out knee and toe. Okay, she'll push into the tops of the feet, relax her knees a bit just so she can get a better low glute. So she's gonna keep her knees down. You could lift them up, but I recommend in the beginning keeping them down. Now on an inhale, she'll lengthen the top of her head away from her spine and come up. Now in this position, She's gonna let her collarbones open and she's gonna feel that lower compartment stabilize and that lower glute stabilize. And then she'll lengthen the head back down and away. We'll do that three more times. Find the inner thigh, lower belly, lift and lengthen like you're pulling your head. And then exhale, lengthen the head down and away. One last time, lift and lengthen. And then exhale, melt back down. Now Nat can take her arms all the way back by her thighs. The palms start facing up. Okay, as she inhales, her hands will rotate into her thigh and she'll lift her heart and head. As she holds it here, she's gonna make sure her knees and feet are heavy, her lower belly and her arms are opening in front. Okay, and then she lengthens back down. Okay, inhale, lower belly glute, lift the upper body, relax the shoulder neck, and exhale, lengthen the head away from the tail. Again, inhale, lower butt, lower belly, lift and lengthen, head away from feet, and then exhale right back down. Last time, inhale, pick the body up, nice shoulders. And as she holds it here, I'm gonna have her stay. She's gonna take the back of her hands to her forehead, and now this is breaststroke prep three. She'll lower down. Now on this one, what I commonly see is a lot of upper tension in the neck. So I'm gonna have her just gently cue her armpits, Okay, now with her feet heavy, her knees down, she'll inhale, lift and lengthen. Okay, she drops her elbows a little to find that armpit and then she lengthens back down. Inhale, up and away, elbows lower than shoulders and exhale back down last time. Inhale, up and away and then back down. Now Natalie's gonna show you the modification. That is the harder of the three sets. So if she leaves her hands down on the mat, She'll push into the hands and lift the chest, finding that armpit rib cage belly con connection, and then lower down. So it's the same thing, just a little less load. Okay, now from here, she's gonna keep her head in her hands, and we're gonna go into the lower compartment. So the first exercises are really working on mid-back mobility, and they're working on glute and hamstring and pelvis stability. Okay, so on our single leg lift prone, okay, our activation pattern is the low abs to start, but glute, hamstring and then opposite low back. Okay, so Nat's gonna be doing the left leg first. She's going to find that lower belly communication. On an inhale, she raises her leg up and away, hold. Okay, she feels her glutes and then she exhale, lowers it down. We're looking that the pelvis doesn't rock or shift. Leg goes up and away and right back down. Okay, two more. Squeezing the butt to lift the thigh weight and back down. One more time. Squeeze the butt, lift and back down. Now the right leg, okay, she'll lift and lengthen out of the hip and back down. I'm gonna ask that she cues that left side lower waist, yep, and then back down. She just had a little bit of a rotation, up and away and back down. Last time, up and 
and down. Okay, now I find the single leg is plenty difficult. The double leg is harder. If it would be appropriate for you, you could take the heels together, a slight turn out of the toes. Okay, now on the double leg lift, we focus on length more than height. She'll find the lower rib and abdomen stability, and then she lifts her feet up and away, hold, checks her head, shoulder, hip, and then lowers it back down. Notice she's not going up very high. There's no need for the height. It's all about the length, and then back down. She feels her glutes gently wrap as she reaches out of the hip and down two more times, up and away, and down, low belly rib, lift and reach, and down. Okay, very, very good. Okay, now from here, she's gonna roll back over onto her right shoulder. Okay, now we did the adductor series with the ball and the leg lift, and now we're gonna add in a side bend. Okay, so in this sideline position, again, we have our vertical neutral pelvis, so we have the front of the hip to the bottom stay stacked. We don't wanna let the hip dip or reach, okay? So we just keep it perpendicular. So the top shoulder here becomes pretty important for stability. So this external oblique and lat are working pretty hard. Okay, so that's gonna think long and tall through the, the legs and the head. She'll inhale to lift her feet two inches to give her counter lever. As she exhales, she arcs up with that top waist, propping up on the bottom elbow. And then she inhales to stay and check her form. And then as she exhales, she lengthens back out. Inhale, stabilize the low belly armpit. Exhale, arc up, working QL, glute, oblique, lengthen that hip, and then lower back down. Okay, now with the bent elbow, it is slightly easier. She's gonna show you the straight arm variation. On an inhale, she lifts her feet. On the exhale, she slides on the straight arm. Inhale, she smiles. And exhale, she lowers back down. Last time, inhale, just feet. Exhale, arc and curl, hold. Inhale, stay. And now she's gonna hold it here. Now, a fun balance challenge. If she stabilizes in the hand and shoulder, she's gonna try to lift this bottom arm up with a bent elbow, keeping that top glute strong for four, long neck, and three, two, one, and she lowers back down. And that is a lot harder than she just made it look. Okay, now she's gonna flip over and face the camera on her opposite side. Let me do a 180. Okay, so we'll go through that once more. So we already did our leg lift earlier, so we're going right into that side bend. She'll lift the feet, whole curl propping up on the elbow, finding that armpit rib cage, and lengthen down. Inhale, feet. Exhale, curl the chest, and lengthen down. Now she'll do two with the straight elbow. Feet, slide, lift, armpit, waist, and back down. One more time like that and up, hold, and lengthen down. Okay, now on this one, she lifts the feet, curls the chest, and stays. She stabilizes her right shoulder, drops her chin slightly, and lifts the left elbow for four, and three, two, and one, and you are done with that. Okay, now coming back onto the back. actually going to go onto the stomach. Okay, so going onto the stomach for prone heel squeeze. Okay, we already did our single leg, so now we're going to go into our prone heel squeeze. So this is our heel squeeze prone. So Natalie is going to close her legs a little bit. She's got that dancer in her, so she wants to go crazy with it. Now you could add a ball for instability. I think for today's purposes, we'll just do the heels. It's a little nicer on the beginner um, module there. Okay, so we've got the heels lined up. She's in a dorsiflexed ankle, and she's thinking about her thighs kind of reaching out of her pelvis. Okay, now first, all she's going to do is exhale, squeeze her feet, and wrap her seat, and then let it go. We'll do one more. Squeeze the feet, squeeze the glutes, and let it go. Now, she's gonna add in a one to two inch lift of the thighs. So she lifts the knees up and away, and lowers down. You can see that her legs, as they squeeze, they go up and slightly away, and then they come back down. Two more, up and away, and back down. Last time, up and away, and back down. Now again, there you could get creative. We can add a chest lift with the thigh lift, so she comes up, lifts her heart, and lowers back down. She'll do one more, up and away, lifting head, lifting thigh, and back down, and that adds a bit more. Okay, she's gonna push up with her hands under her chest and come up to quadruped. Okay, now in the quadruped position, 
Okay, it's another great place to do protraction and retraction. So she lengthens the head and tail, tail is nutated up. Okay, she'll let her shoulder bones roll together behind her. Okay, and then she'll push with her abs, shoulders apart. Okay, we retract and then we protract. Last time, shoulders roll gently together and lengthening actually pushes them apart. Okay, now she'll find her neutral right there. She's in that nice spine and we're gonna go into our cat and cow. Okay, on an inhale, she opens the heart, reaches the tail and chest away, going down into extension, maybe a little less neck. Okay, and then on the exhale, she's gonna start with her glutes curling, push into her hands to push her ribs up, drop her chin and let those shoulders roll up and forward. Okay, then leading with the head, she lengthens her head, she lifts her heart and she lengthens her tail. We'll do that again, inhale, long line. Exhale, glutes first, ribs second, chin down, shoulders rise, inhale, she reaches higher to the ceiling and lengthens everything away. Okay, so that's our quadruped cat and cow. And we're gonna do protraction retraction. And that is all we have. So I hope you have a great time doing our exercises. If you have any questions, contact us at kcas at lt.life. Thank you.